Howdy power people, welcome to the All About Relays channel. In this video, we will look over the ANSI IEEE standard device numbers. The power system engineer's basic guide to understanding the relays elements names. Device 1, master element. The primary controller or driver in a system initiating automatic or manual actions. Device 2. Time delay starting or closing relay delays action in a circuit like starting or closing for predetermined time intervals. Device 3 checking or interlocking relay ensures conditions are right before allowing a circuit to complete or equipment to operate. Device 4 master conductor controls large sections of a system acting as a primary switching device. Device 5, stopping device, primarily used to halt operations or processes in a system. Device 6, starting circuit breaker, initiate the startup sequence for motors or other equipment. Device 7, rate of change of relay, monitors the rate of change in a parameter triggering actions if it exceeds set limits. Device 8. Control power disconnecting device. Disconnect the control power for safety and, man and maintenance purposes. Device 9. Reversing device. Alters the direction of process or mechanism like reversing a motor's rotation. Device 10, unit sequence switch manages the order of operations or startup sequence in a system. Device 11, multifunction device performs multiple functions or monitoring roles within a system. Device 12, overspeed device deducts and responds to excessive speed in rotating equipment. Device 13, synchronous speed device, ensures machinery operates at a synchronous speed, vital for stability. Device 14, under speed device, monitors and acts upon reduction in speed below a set threshold. Device 15, speed or frequency matching device, aligns speeds or frequencies of a different systems for synchronization. Device 16, data communications device, facilitates data transfer and communication between different parts of a system. Device 17, sending or discharge switch. A switch is designed to either activate or deactivate a sending circuit around any piece of equipment. Device 18, accelerating or decelerating a device. It is a device employed to either initiate or facilitate the closure of circuits that are utilized to adjust the speed of a machine, either increasing or decreasing it. Device 19, starting to running transition conductor. This is a device that functions to trigger or facilitate the automatic transition of a machine from the initial power connection to the operational power source. Device 20, electrically operated valve, solenoid valve, controls the flow of fluids or gases via an electrically actuated valve. Device 21, distance relay, measures impedance to determine fault distances in long transmission lines. Device 22, equalizer circuit breaker. It's a circuit breaker responsible for managing or stabilizing and interrupting the equalizer or circuit balancing connections for a machine's field or for controlling equipment in a multiple unit setup. Device 23, temperature control 
device regulates temperature to maintain optimal operating conditions. Device 24, voltage per hertz relay, protects transformers and motors from over voltage condition. Device 25, synchronizing or synchronize some check device, ensure the synchronization before connecting generators to bus power. Device 26, apparatus thermal device, monitors and products equipment from thermal overload. Device 27, under voltage relay, X upon decreased voltage to prevent equipment damage. Device 28, flame detector. It's a device designed to detect the existence of a pilot or primary flame in equipment like a gas turbine or a steam boiler. Device 29, isolating conductor. This device is specially utilized for the disconnection of one circuit from another, typically for emergency operations, maintenance, or testing purposes. Device 30, annunciator relay, signals abnormal or alarm conditions in the system. Device 31, separate excitation device. It's a device that connects a circuit such as the sun field of synchronous converter to an ex external excitation source during startup, or it can activate the excitation and ignition circuits of a power rectifier. Device 32, directional power relay, monitor power flow direction in a circuit. Device 33, position switch. This is a switch that establishes or interrupts contact when the primary device or equipment without a designated function number reaches a specific position. Device 34, master sequence device. It's a device like a motor driven multi-contact switch or a computer that sets the sequence for the main equipment's operation during startup, shutdown, or other sequential switch actions. Device 35, brush operating device. It's a device for moving machine brushes, short circuiting, slip rings, or engaging, disengaging mechanical rectifier contacts. Device 36, polarity or polarizing voltage devices. Ensures correct polarity, essential for a directional relay operation. Device 37, under current or under power relay. Detects low current or power, indicating potential system issues. Device 38, bearing productive device. Monitors and products bearings from conditions leading to failure. Uh, device 39. Mechanical condition monitor. Oversees mechanical conditions of equipment to prevent breakdowns. Device 40, field over under excitation relay. Products generators from excitation anomalies. Device 41, field circuit breaker. Isolate the field circuit of a generator for maintenance or false. Device 42, running circuit breaker, controls operation of a circuit during normal running conditions. Manual transfer selectors device, enables manual selection or transfer between different circuits or sources. Device 44, Unit sequence starting relay. It is a relay that starts the next available unit in multiple unit equipment when the normally preceding unit fails or is not available. Device 45, atmospheric condition monitor. It is a device that operates when there is an abnormal atmospheric condition like harmful fumes 
explosive mixers, smoke or fire. Device 46, reverse space or face balance current relay. Detects phase sequence or balance issues in the three phase systems. Device 47, phase sequence or phase balance voltage relay. Monitors for incorrect phase sequence or voltage imbalance. Device 48, incomplete sequence relay. Identifies incomplete sequences in power system operations, triggering corrective actions. Device 49, machine or transformer thermal relay. Products, machines or transformers from thermal overload and damage. Device 50, instantaneous overcurrent. Responds immediately to overcurrent conditions, providing fast production. Device 51, AC inverse uh, time over current delay, offers uh, time delayed over current production, adapting to varying current levels. Device 52, AC circuit breaker, interrupts and isolates AC power circuits during falls. Device 53, field excitation delay, controls the excitation of generator fields, ensuring stable operation. Device 54, high speed DC circuit breaker. It's a circuit breaker that rapidly reduce, reduces the current in the main circuit within uh, 0.01 seconds or less after detecting a DC overcurrent or an excessively fast rate of current increase. Device 55, power factor relay regulates and corrects the power factor in electrical systems. Device 56, field application delay. Applies field to motors or generators as required in operations. Device 57, short circuiting or grounding device. It is a primary circuit such that acts to create a short circuit or ground a circuit in response to automatic or manual activation. Device 58, rectification failure relay. This is a device that operates if one or more anodes of a power rectifiers fail to ignite or to identify and respond to an arc back or a failure of diode to conduct or lock correctly. Device 59, over voltage relay, detects and acts upon over voltage conditions to product equipment. Device 60, voltage or current balance relay, monitors balance in voltages or currents indicating asymmetry. Device 61, reserved. Device 62, time delay, stopping or operating relay, delays the opening or stopping of devices for precise timing control. Device 63, pressure switch, acts based on system pressure changes, crucial for fluid control. Device 64, ground detector relay, deducts grounding faults, crucial for system safety and integrity. Device 65, governor, regulate speed or output of turbines and engines. Device 66, notching or jocking device, controls jocking or incremental movements typically in motor operations. Device 67, AC directional overcurrent relay, responds to overcurrents based on their direction, enhancing production. Device 68, blocking or out of step relay, prevents operation under out of step or misaligned conditions. Device 69, permissive control device, allows operations only under permissive conditions, enhancing safety. Device 70, rear start. It is an adjustable register in an electric circuit that can be controlled electronically and may include switches. Device 71, liquid or gas level relay. It's a relay 
that triggers on specified liquid or gas level values or predefined rates of change in these values. Device 72, DC circuit breaker. It's a circuit breaker utilized to stabilize and cut off a DC power during normal operation or to interrupt the circuit in case of faults or emergencies. Device 73, load resistor conductor. It's a conductor that either adds or removes resistance in a power circuit and can switch various devices like heaters, lights, or machines in and out of the circuit. Device 74, alarm relay, activates alarms for abnormal or emergency conditions. Device 75, position changing mechanism, controls the position of devices within a system. Six, DC overcurrent relay, protects DC circuits from overcurrent situations. Device 77, pulse transmitter. It is used to create and send pulses over a telemetering or pilot wire circuit to a distance indicator or receiver. Device 78, phase angle measuring relay. Measures phase angle differences for system synchronization and stability. Device 79, AC reclosing relay automatically closes circuit breakers after a fault clears. Device 80 liquid or gas flow relay. It's a relay that responds to specified liquid or gas flow values or predefined rates of changes in these values. Device 81 frequency relay monitors and acts upon deviations in system frequency. Device 82, DC reclosing relay. It's a relay that manages the automatic closer and recloser of a DC circuit interrupter, typically based on conditions in, in the load circuit. Device 83, automatic selective control or transfer relay. Enables automatic control or transfer between different power sources or systems. Device 84 Operating Mechanism Controls the mechanical operation of circuit breakers or other devices. Device 85 Pilot Communications Carrier or Pilot Wire Relay Facilitates communication for relay production through pilot wires or carriers. Device 86 Lockout Relay locks out equipment after certain types of faults for safety. Device 87, differential productive relay, detects differences in current or voltage for production against faults. Device 88, axillary motor or generator. It's a relay utilized to control secondary equipment like pumps, blowers, exciters, rotating magnetic amplifiers, and more. Device 89, Line switch controls switching operations on power lines. Device 90, regulating device, automatically regulates a parameter, voltage, current, etc. in the system. Device 91, voltage directional relay, responds to voltage in a specific direction, crucial for system production. Device 91, voltage directional relay, Response to voltage in a specific direction, crucial for system production. Device 92, voltage and power directional relay. Monitors directional power flow and voltage for system reliability. Device 93, field changing conductor. It's a conductor that adjusts the field excitation of a machine in a single step, either increasing or decreasing it. Device 94, tripping or trip-free relay, triggers circuit breakers to open under fault conditions preventing damage. Device 95, trip circuit healthy. It's a production uh, system known as trip circuit supervision, TCS, that continuously checks the trip circuits of 
circuit breakers. Device 96, transmitter, responds to voltage in a specific direction, which is crucial for system production. Device 97, 98, and 989 are reserved. I hope the information in this video about ANSI IEEE standard device numbers are useful. Considering subscribe, comment, and share the All About Relay channel videos. Thank you.